Manchester United are definitely in need of a new defensive midfielder this summer. Michael Carrick, as good as he is, isn't strong enough to be that player for the whole season in the Premier League and the Champions League. And hopefully we're going to be competing in both of those competitions next year, right through as far as we can go. And Ander Herrera, he played in that defensive midfield role last year and he actually played it very well. But I would rather see him in a right central midfield position so we can be a little bit more expressive going forward. And I certainly don't want Pogba to be defensive. So with that in mind, we definitely need a new defensive midfielder. And we've been linked to Chelsea's Nemanja Matic, Monaco's Timu Bakayoko. But I'm going to talk about his teammate, Fabinho, today, because we've been heavily linked with the move for him, with some reports suggesting that he is going to be the second summer signing after Victor Lindelof. But how has the story developed? We're going to take you right back to the beginning. Back in 2015, we were first linked to Fabinho and show you how this rumour has developed over time. Back in June 2015, when Louis van Gaal was still manager of Manchester United, we were linked with a move for Fabinho and the price that was being linked to him then, 14 million euros. The price linked to him now, roughly 50 million euros. So I think Louis may have missed the trick there. Fast forward to July 2016 and Gianluca Di Marzio is saying that Fabinho's agent, of course it's Jorge Mendes, saying that he wants to manoeuvre a move to Manchester United for Fabinho. He was touted as an upgrade on Antonio Valencia, who up until that point was still a slight defensive liability at right back. But of course, he stayed at Monaco. And what a wonderful decision that was because Monaco had a superb season last year. Got to the semi-finals of the Champions League, won their first French league title with nearly two decades. And Fabinho was a key, key part of that. His stock has now risen dramatically. But Manchester United had been linked to Fabinho long before that cracking season last year. Then in November 2016, Fabinho himself talked about Manchester United's interest in him. He said there was something with Manchester United. I think there was an interest, but nothing concrete. I am settled in Monaco. We have made a good start to the season and I am focused on them. So as I said, this interest in Fabinho is not just based on how good he was last season. We have spotted something there previously. Under Louis van Gaal, of course, the move didn't materialise. But it goes to show that Fabinho has been on Man United's radar for a while and he's certainly on Jose Mourinho's. Then on the 3rd of February, Fabinho's father is the next person to hype up this potential move to Manchester United or potentially Manchester City. He said, we have been in talks with Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal and approached by Barcelona. We like Manchester United and Mourinho's work, but we have a soft spot for Manchester City. So City and United both being linked and Arsenal, Barcelona, every single team under the sun maybe? No, only a few, but Manchester United definitely linked with him. And he name drops Mourinho. And something we have to remember here is Mourinho gave Fabinho his Real Madrid debut when he was on loan there prior to him joining Monaco. And I don't think Fabinho will forget that. He may have only made one appearance, but it's better than none. And for Fabinho, that must have been a big moment in his career when he came into the spotlight. And maybe that means that he's got a soft spot for Mourinho. Then only a few weeks later, Fabinho pours petrol all over the fires, linking him with a move to Manchester United by some comments he said. He said, I have a contract until 2021. The Premier League is a league that interests me and maybe one day I will come and play here. My objective is to get to a club with the dimension of Manchester United. I have no clue if one day I'll be a United player, but I'll keep on working so it stops being a rumour and becomes reality. I know my name was linked with more than one English club, but I am happy at Monaco at the moment. He wants to work hard until that rumour becomes a reality, until he calls Old Trafford home. His words, not mine. So if that is not going to hype up a potential move to Manchester United, nothing will. And it certainly, certainly did. Then in May 2017, it was French TV journalist Romain Collet Gaudin, may have said that name completely wrong, he works for the Canal Plus, and he is saying that Mourinho is closing in on a 45 million euro deal for Fabinho. This is when the Fabinho to Man United rumours really started in earnest. In the last couple of weeks, the developments have been rapid and the developments have been intensifying as they normally do with transfers. And this is certainly when it really got started with Fabinho to Man United in this summer transfer window. And it was immediately picked up out in the Spanish press as well. Marca was saying that Man United had made serious advancements in their move for Fabinho. 
They're not saying the price was 45 million euros. They're saying the price was 50 million pounds sterling. Whatever it is, it's going to certainly be more than the 14 million we were linked with two years previously. That shows the development that Fabinho has had and this, how much his stock has risen as a footballer. To have his price, what, more than trebled in a two-year period really goes to show that he is a much better player now than he was a couple of years ago. Then on the 10th of June, we've had the French press, we've had the Spanish press, and then we've got the British press. Miguel Delaney from The Independent is saying that there have been advancements as well in Manchester United's pursuit of Fabinho. And then those are picked up by the Portuguese press, Ojogo, who are indicating that he is going to be the next signing after Victor Lindelof. So within the space of two weeks, we've had the French press, the Portuguese press, we've had the English press, we've had the Spanish press, and then comes the Brazilian press. Journalist Bruno Andrade is saying that Man United are on the verge of securing Fabinho. So this is how the story has developed until today. As I said, press from all around the world. And let's not forget that Fabinho is Brazilian. So if anybody is going to know about it, maybe it's going to be the Brazilian press. And they are insisting that Man United are on the verge of signing Fabinho this summer and making him the second signing behind Benfica's Victor Lindelof. So as you can see, the Fabinho to Manchester United rumours might be popping at the moment, but they have not just cropped up out of nowhere. They were there back in 2015, 2016, and in 2017, they are back again. He's being linked with moves to Manchester City as well under Pep Guardiola, who's already spent big on his Monaco teammate Bernardo Silva and Portuguese goalkeeper Edison. But this is not the first time that Man United have been linked with him. Fabinho's talked up a potential move to Manchester United. Fabinho's father has talked up a potential move to Manchester United. So they are happy to fuel these rumours. His agent is Jorge Mendes, who we've obviously had serious amounts of transfer dealings with. Will he be another player that he brings in? If he did, it would be a superb signing in a key area we need to strengthen. Because if we can have Fabinho sitting on the bottom of the diamonds with Pogba on the left and Herrera on the right, that would be a wonderful midfield three. I've already said that Bakayoko would be my preferred target, but I would not be upset at all if it turned out to be Fabinho instead. But would you be happy with Fabinho? Do you think he is that defensive midfielder that can change our midfield? Let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video, ladies and gentlemen. It always helps. And until next time, see you soon.